Hey guys, uh, this lesson is a geometric series or finite geometric series. We'll do infinite geometric series in the next lesson. So finite means it stops, okay? So here's our question. How do we find the sum of a finite geometric series, okay? So remember, series have plus signs in between them. So if a geometric series is finite or it stops, then the sum of its first n terms can be found by this formula. The first term, that's what a sub 1 is, times the quantity 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. So we need a sub 1, we need to know what r is, and we need to know what n is, and then we just plug it all in. Okay, so recall if it's arithmetic, you guys, so we have several formulas now, so the sum of the arithmetics are n, and this is the first term, this is the last term, and then divided by 2 right there, okay, remember that? So find the sum of these geometric series right here. Okay, so here's our formula right here. So that we need the first term, we need to know what r is, and we need to know what n is. Well, here's the first term right here. Okay, r is just going to be righty divided by lefty, so it looks like it's 3. And then n, this is just easy to count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's six terms right there. Okay, so uh, now we just plug it in right there. Okay, so now we have to do the order of operations. We have to do uh, the exponent first. So 3 to the 6 is 729. All right, now we're going to simplify this. 1 minus 729 is negative 728, and this is going to give us negative 2 on the bottom. So we have a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so that gives us um, 5 times 364, which gives us 1,820. Okay, and if we, you know, punched in the calculator, 5 plus 15 plus 45 plus 135 plus 405 plus 1,215, you'd find you'd come up to that right there, okay? All right, so here. Uh, so we got to find r, so righty divided by lefty. So I'm going to pick the smaller fractions right here, or the easier fractions. Actually, this is the biggest fraction right here, but these are the easiest ones to work with right here. So 1 8 divided by 1 4th. So we're going to invert and multiply. Remember, it goes keep, change, flip. So one of my students told me that a few years ago. So keep this fraction, change that to a multiply, flip that guy. So it becomes that, and then you can cancel. So there's r. r is 1 half. And can you see it goes 1 fourth times 1 half, 1 eighth times 1 half, times 1 half, times 1 half, and so on. Okay, so we know what uh, a sub 1 is. a sub 1 is that first term right there. We just don't know what n is. So we could, you know, go times a half, times a half, time. how many times a half would we get to get 512? Or we can use our nth term formula right here from a couple of lessons ago where we just set this 1 over 512 right here. We put in 1 fourth right there. We know what r is. r is a half, so we just solve for n right there. So if we do that right there, we get that. And then I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 to get rid of that 1 fourth right there. And then just ask yourself, so 128 is a power of 2. 1 over 128 is a power of 1 over 2, okay? So, so 2 to the 7th, you guys, is 128. So 1 half uh, to the 7th is uh, 1 over 128. So I'm going to replace this as 1 half to the 7th equals 1 half to the n minus 1. Now we have 1 half to a power equals 1 half to a power, so that means the powers are equal to each other, so n equals 8. Okay, so now we know everything. We know a sub 1, we know what r is, r is a half, now we know that uh, n is uh, 8, so let's go ahead and use our formula. So we're going to just plug them in right there. Okay, now we got to do this exponent first, so 1 half to the 8 is going to be 1 to the 8, which is 1, over 2 to the 8, which is 256, so 1 over 256. Okay, now I'm going to use uh, uh, my 1 trick. 1 is the same as 256 over 256, and for this 1, I'm going to change this 1 to 2 over 2. So here we have 256 over 256 minus 1 over 256. Uh, that's going to give us 255 over 256, and then 1 minus a half is 1 half or two halves minus one half is one half. All right, so I got a bunch of fractions. So it's this fraction times this fraction divided by this fraction right there. All right, let's go ahead and flip that now. That's all I'm doing is flipping the second one. And then I'm gonna cancel this, this two with this 256 and make it 128 right there. So we're left with one times 255 is 255 over four times 128. So we get uh, 255 over 512 is our answer. 
Okay, I think that's the hardest one of the bunch just because you're manipulating fractions. All right, so this one I think is pretty easy. So let's get r, where r is righty divided by lefty. It's easiest to pick these two numbers right here. So r is negative 2. Do we know what uh, the first term is? Yeah, that's 1. Do we know what um, n is? Well, that's easy enough. We can just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So n equals 6, okay? All right, so then let's just plug it in right there, okay? So 2 to the 6, I believe, is uh, 64. So since it's a negative 2 to the 6, when it's to an even power, then it becomes a 64 right there. But it's still 1 minus. This is positive 64, so here's 1 minus 64. 1 minus a minus 2 becomes 1 plus 2. Okay, so 1 minus 64 is negative 63 over 3, and then that equals negative 21 right there. All right. Uh, so here we have a geometric series uh, that starts with 3 and ends with 5,625 has a common ratio of negative 5. So times negative 5, times negative 5, times negative 5. Okay, so, so here's our formula right there. So it says write the sum. So we're going to first, this is the answer to number 1, but we need to find out what's uh, a sub 1. Well, that, it starts with 3, so it's 3. Uh, what is r? r is negative 5. And what is n? So I think it's easiest just to do 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. And then negative 15 times negative 5 is positive 45. 45 times negative 5 is 220, negative 225. Times negative 5 is a positive 1,125. Um, uh, times negative 5. Whoops, there should be a negative right there. It should alternate. I, I goofed right there. There should be a, come on there. Uh, a negative right there okay all right so um, but we don't we don't care about that last term we just want to know how many terms there are okay uh, so this should end right here with a negative that's my mistake also right there so come on there so it should end with a negative five six two five because it has to go when you're multiplying by a negative it's going to change the sign so positive negative positive negative positive negative so I just made a mistake as I'm doing that right there. Anyway, so we need to know what the first term is. We need to know what um, R is, and we need to know what N is. Well, N is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So N is 6. So we know everything. So there's our formula right there, okay? So uh, I'm going to just put that negative back in there. All right, now let's find the sum, okay? So let's find the sum. So I'm gonna go negative five to the six. That's gonna get me uh, uh, 15,625. And then you can see I'm just changing, making sure the negative. So when my kiddos get in class, I'll have it all, all straightened out. All right, uh, and then so let's subtract. So one minus uh, 15,625 is a negative 15,624. This is gonna become six on the bottom right there. So when we do that, we get that, and then we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to cancel out this 3 and this 6 as soon as I put my negative back up in here. Um, and uh, so we get uh, that, and then so we're just, now we just divide. So negative 15,600, come on there, uh, and 24 divided by, divided by 2 is going to give us uh, negative 7,000. 820, 812, sorry, I'm just a little distracted here. Let me get this, put that negative in there. All right, if you guys are in my class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.